Cinderella might be splendid, Beauty and the Beast might be perfect. Certain as the sun. But Disney has a whole host of films equally as grand that just don't get the credit. Young lady, you are most definitely not accompanying us. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated animated Disney films. Get a hold of yourself! For this list, we've looked at any feature animated by Disney that hasn't received the fanfare that it perhaps should have. But we won't let that stop us, will we? What? <laughs> the following are great films that consistently get overlooked. May the best darn good teacher win. Number 10, Dinosaur. We're not meant to survive. Oh, yes, we were. We're here, aren't we? And how dare you waste that good fortune by simply giving up? The fifth highest grossing movie of 2000, and that year's most financially successful animated feature, upon release, Dinosaur was praised for its pioneering visuals of a prehistoric setting. Get him! <laughs> oh no! Attacking leaders! Sorry, please! I can't take it! There are too many of them! Come on! Pick out some of your own side! Stop! However, in other aspects, the film fared indifferently with critics. Its writing failed to wow as much as the aesthetics. What an unfortunate blemish. Despite that, Dinosaur should surely be better remembered. This post-meteor imagining of Earth was an animation game-changer. The CGI slash real-world blend breathed new life into the genre, and the opening scene still ranks as one of Disney's best. Number 9. The Aristocats. Everybody wants to be a cat. A film noted for being the last feature approved by Walt Disney himself before the animator's death in 1966, The Aristocats is more than just a pleasing play on words, with Eva Gabor taking the leading role as Duchess. Very good, darling. That was very nice. The film follows a family of upper-class felines as they seek to evade Edgar, the greedy butler. Of course, madam. How could anyone forget him? Set in Paris, there's a certain je ne sais quoi about this film and its characters. Bravo! Very good. You are a great talent. Consistently overshadowed by 101 Dalmatians. She's like a spider waiting for the... Kill. Roger, Look she'll out hear you. Cruella de Vil. As Disney's domesticated classic, these cats deserve their cream, and we're gonna give it to them. Then presto, breakfast, a la carte. Number eight, Brother Bear. You are going to get a whole new perspective on things. <gasps> Ooh, do you see in black and white or color? A spiritual saunter through rural USA, Brother Bear was originally conceived as a North American version of The Lion King. It's not as easy as it looks. Now just watch what I do, okay? Come on, let's get a back seat or something. I look like you hunted me. A tough act to follow. The film also struggled to stand out against Finding Nemo, the Pixar effort released in the same year. A heartwarming tale in its own right, however, Brother Bear brightens up the Disney formula like few other films. I, I mean, I'm not a bear. I hate bears. Well, gee, eh? You're one big beaver. <laughs> no kidding, eh? Kenai's story is a life lesson for all little kids, and some big kids too, while Coda is just cuter than cute. I don't want to brag or nothing, but I got some moves. Number 7. The Princess and the Frog So what now? I reckon you want a kiss? Kissing would be nice, yes? A modern take on various traditional tales, The Princess and the Frog was on the receiving end of three Oscar nominations. Not bad for a 197-year-old blind lady. <laughs> However, it's another example of an excellent movie denied the limelight by Pixar, who released Up in 2009 as well. So long, boys! I'll send you a postcard from Paradise Falls. Nevertheless, critics rank The Princess and the Frog as a turning point in Disney's history, as it ushered in a so-called neo-renaissance at the start of the 2010s. I can read your future, I can change it around some too. I look deep into your heart and soul. You do have a soul, don't you, Lauren? 
sounds make your wildest dreams come true. It saw the studio return to traditional animation and kickstarted a string of high profile, highly acclaimed animated movies. Not to mention, it was the flick that introduced Disney's first African American princess. And boy, did she make an impact. Ooh, aren't you just as pretty as a magnolia in May? Number six, meet the Robinsons. Where are we going? To the future! A story that zaps all over the space time continuum. Our next movie is snappy, surreal, and a timely break from typically Disney storytelling strategies. Yep, five years ago, Dad wakes up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, wants to build a time machine. So he starts working. We're talking plans, we're talking scale models, we're talking prototypes. That's a prototype? The very first, or what's left of it. It's the first Disney film released following a Disney Pixar merger which placed John Lasseter as chief creative officer. And his eye for comedic detail is clear throughout. Why is your dog wearing glasses? Oh, because his insurance won't pay for contacts. Meet the Robinsons is a potentially tragic orphan story turned into an inspiring, uplifting tale. Well, that depends on you. Nothing is set in stone. you got to make the right choices. Its cast of original characters well and truly shook up the Disney status quo. What's going on? Why aren't you seizing the boy? <laughs> Number 5. Treasure Planet You got the makings of greatness in you, but you gotta take the helm and chart your own course. Stick to it, no matter the squalls. The original ideas for Treasure Planet were actually pitched alongside those for The Little Mermaid, the movie credited by most as beginning Disney's late 80s revival. They think they know everything. You give them an inch, they swim all over you. However, Treasure Planet was put on hold for over 10 years. And when it was released, it received an undeservedly modest response. A futuristic rethink of Robert Louis Stevenson's timeless pirate legend, it features Jim as the rebel hero well worth rooting for. You know what this means? It means that all that treasure is only a boat ride away. A gaggle of memorable side characters. I'm sorry, my, my, my memory isn't what it used to be. I, I, I lost my mind. And Silver as the bad guy with a big heart. Didn't your pap ever teach you to pick your fights a bit more carefully? Shiver me timbers, it should be a classic. Without the map, we're dead. If we try to leave, we're dead. If we stay here... We're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Number four. Atlantis, The Lost Empire. I will find Atlantis on my own. I mean, if I have to rent a robo. Congratulations, Milo. This is exactly what I wanted to hear. Another animation centered on an ambitious voyage to a legendary place. Atlantis has become a cult favorite among Disney fans. The story of Milo Thatch and his deciphering of the Shepherd's Journal and Journey to Atlantis is an action-adventure tale the likes of which live-action cinema had been aching to accomplish for years. Out of the way! However, Atlantis was the first foray into science fiction that Disney ever made. It's beautiful. Milo, I gotta hand it to you. You really came through. A movie perhaps best remembered for the comic book style of Mike Mignola, it was deliciously fresh and fantastically dynamic. Yeah, you got that right. Number three, the rescuers down under. The boy needs our help. He's in trouble. Boy? You mean little kid kind of boy? He was kidnapped. Kidnapped? Oh, that, that's awful. The second film to feature within Disney's late 80s, early 90s renaissance, The Rescuers Down Under is continually ranked under the other films of that period. Oh, please don't do this to me! Ah! The Little Mermaid smashed expectations, while titles like Aladdin and The Lion King only further established the newly rejuvenated brand. I didn't make it all the way through third grade for nothing. But this movie, much like the original Rescuers, failed to fill theaters in quite the same way. Uh, they all come in with a whimper and leave with a grin. Some parts, though, have always been held in the highest of regard, particularly the flight scene. A kid clinging to an eagle flying through Australian skies. It's animated awesomeness. Higher! Number two, The Great Mouse Detective. Basil of Baker Street, my good fellow. We continue with the rodent theme for our runner-up. 
and a Sherlock Holmes adaptation unlike any other. What do you make of it? Mm. Ratigan's up to something. A crime of the most sinister nature, no doubt. Released in 1986, The Great Mouse Detective saw Victorian England awash with talking rats and mice. What did you call me? Oh, oh, he didn't mean it, Professor. It was just a slip of the tongue. I am not a rat! The film was more important to Disney than its reputation would suggest, though. It came at a time when faith in the brand was waning. But after relative success, it encouraged producers and management to back future projects, setting the stage for the massively successful movies that followed. There's always a chance, Doctor. It's more than elementary, it's excellent. Amazing. Actually, it's elementary, my dear Dawson. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Hey, be a snap, kid. I'm an expert at these things. Then I have moment of clarity. If Zangief is good guy, we'll crush man's skull like sparrow's egg between thighs. And I say, Zangief, you are bad guy. But this does not mean you're bad guy. It's a vacation with me and my best buddy. Oh, Donald Duck? No, silly. With you! It's not exactly what I had planned, but I'm human! And that's nothing to shake your tail at. Number one, The Black Cauldron. The Black Cauldron? So that's it. The Black Cauldron? An awesome weapon, Tyron. When it was released in 1985, The Black Cauldron proved to be a box office bomb. Oh, no! The film suffered a box office loss and severely split the critics, with most dubbing it too dark, too spooky, and too slow. Over time, however, The Black Cauldron has finally built up a fan base. Why, of course, it's magic! Dungeons, dragons, swords, and woodland battles have made quite the comeback in 21st century pop culture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. And this movie has it all. It's set in the Dark Ages and was released during Disney's own dark period. The Horned King takes the limelight. Then instructs her to show me the whereabouts of the Black Cauldron. Do you agree with our list? Fun fact about Voodoo Larry. Can't conjure a thing for myself. Which animated film is still unappreciated? What's that supposed to mean? For more praiseworthy top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. See you around, tiger.